another young man, he came to his father and he said, Give me. That seems to be the attitude of the world, doesn't it? Give me. Very simply, if we were to outline the story of this young boy, I think we could put it this way, first of all, sick of home. Sick and tired of the restrictions placed on his life, of his father watching over his shoulder, of instructing him in the right way to do things. He was sick of home, and then leaving home. It says not many days after, it didn't take him long to get his bags packed and to say his goodbyes, and he was off with a whistle, and then far from home. It's called the far country. Now, it wasn't far from his friend, was it? It wasn't far from his son. It wasn't far from the pigsty. What was it far from? That was far from the father's house. And you know, everything in the universe is measured that way. And his measurement is, how far are you from the father's house? Far from home. And then homesick. Things didn't turn out the way he wanted them to. He had a bunch of 50 cent friends, and when his money was gone, so were his friends. And then going home. It wasn't enough for him to say, I will arrive. He had to arrive. It wasn't enough to have good intentions. He had to get up and go home and say, I've sinned. Sick of home, leaving home, far from home, homesick, going home, home. And when that younger son took his first step homeward, the father was waiting and watching for him. And it wasn't the boy that ran. It was the father that ran. And covered him in kisses. The father said, Bring forth the best robe and put it on. And put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and kill the fatted calf. I want to tell you, my friend, I believe the day the boy went away, the father went out and selected this calf and put it in the stall to keep it from being bruised or wounded and made sure that it was prepared for the day the boy came home because the law demanded that that boy be taken by the elders of the city and stoned with stones until he was dead. For he was a rebel against his father. But there was one provision in the law and that was that the peace offering be slain, the reconciliation offering. And so this calf was taken, the young bullet, and it was slain as the substitute for that boy. And so they sat down, the father and the son and the friend, and they enjoyed the bounty of God. And here's a boy, a prodigal far from his father's home, broken his father's heart, wasted his father's money, and he comes home, and the father takes him just as he is. But he doesn't leave him just as he is. He changes him. And that's what God does with those who come home. He changes us. He changes us to be like his lovely son. And he's going to do that work until someday it's all completed. And there will be in heaven the masterpieces of the grace of God. Not through anything we've done at all but all by matchless grace.